Thank you all for coming tonight. I and my colleague, Dr. Joshua Gardner. Stand up, Josh. <laughs> want to welcome you to this event this evening. Now, when we started planning this, we decided that we didn't want to plan a real concert because those can be boring. You know, you fall asleep. We don't want anybody to fall asleep. You're allowed to laugh. There's some humor in this. We actually expect you to laugh. This is 70 minutes, maybe a little shy, maybe 67 minutes of music nonstop. There is no intermission. If you fail to use the facilities on the way in, you're in trouble. <laughs> and I want to tell you just a little bit about each piece you're going to hear. Now, it's not all clarinet choir. You're going to hear some clarinet choir, and I'll get into that in a second. But the first piece, uh, Pulse for Clarinet Choir, was written by one of our students, Grant John. He's double majoring in, in composition and clarinet. It's an amazingly wonderful piece. A short lecture on the clarinet was written by Bill Wolcombe. You are expected to enjoy this piece. <laughs> the other pieces I don't really need to talk about, with the exception of CC by Thomas Breeden, who is another student who wrote this piece as, a, as, a, as a, something to be premiered this evening. In the end, we're going to start, we'll, we'll close the concert with three big clarinet choir pieces. We had a really unique weekend in that we had a very dear friend of mine named Guido Six come and work with our clarinet choir. And if you look at those, all of those pieces are arranged by Guido Six. Guido, for clarinetists, if any of you are, are clarinetists who've gone to clarinet conventions, yes, there are clarinet conventions. <laughs> that sounds really bad, but they're actually kind of fun. Um, <laughs> If you've ever been to a clarinet convention, you know Guido Six because you know his music and you know his group, Clarabelle, which has played around the world at clarinet choir. Uh, the first features Sheng Wen Wu on a klezmer piece, which I think is really appropriate for a, a girl from Beijing. Um, <coughs> secondly, <laughs> Souvenir from the Piano Man is a bunch of Gershwin tunes, and uh, Shell Romano, The Gypsy Love, is a, a high, flashy piece. Well, M many of you I don't think have seen a lot of these instruments before, so I want to introduce all of them to you first. Well, we'll start from the top and work down. The first is the E-flat clarinet. Could you hold it up in the air, please? It's the smallest of the clarinets that are normally used in bands and orchestras, and of course has the highest pitch. Play us something, please, Celeste. We didn't need that. Okay, so. <laughs> Next is the B flat clarinet. And uh, Olivia, hold us up, hold up your B flat clarinet. It's a little bit larger. And any of you who played in band in high school played B flat clarinets. So play us the lowest note you have. And just play like an F major scale three octaves. I had to say F and not F sharp, because she didn't do very well on that earlier. <laughs> <coughs> Next down, we have the alto clarinet. The alto clarinet is in the same key as an alto saxophone. It's in E flat. And just play us something, Dana. <laughs> Next, we have the bass clarinet. Audrey, stand up so everybody can see this. <laughs> now, normally this would be our lowest clarinet, but we're going a little further tonight, so why don't you play a C major scale down to your lowest note. Kind of makes it rattle right here. Well, we're going further tonight. Let's, Kelly, stand up. This is a contra alto clarinet in E flat. So Kelly, play us your lowest note. But we decided to go further than that tonight. <laughs> we have the paper clip. And it's called the paper clip because of its shape. And it's the eight foot contra bass clarinet in B flat. Could you stand up please? Show them the side so they can see how it's turned. Okay, so let's hear your lowest note. Uh, she gets two tries on that. <laughs> oh. 
So there you have the clarinet family. There are others, but tonight this is all we're using. So I hope you enjoy the next 67 minutes. And I will turn the beginning of the program over to Grant John, who is asked to conduct the first piece, the world premiere of, what is it called? Pulse for Clarinet Quartet. Thank you so much for coming. Gentlemen and students, this is a clarinet. Its history is enshrouded in mystery. <laughs> How cute, I'm rhyming. <laughs> in any event, we do know something about its history. Possibly it is descended from the Chalmaze or the Shalmu, depending on whether the clarinet is truly the offspring of the conical bore or cylindrical bore family. At present, the clarinet is a conical bore. <laughs> cylindrical bore. I always mix the two bores up. Some of the most important milestones in its history include its invention. supposedly by one Johann Christoph Denner. Who, sometimes
sometime between 1655 and 1707, those are his dates, invented the speaker key. Later, improvements were made in time for Mozart to write his clarinet concerto, immortalized by Benny Goodman. Its final shape was bestowed upon it in 1842, by which time Mozart would have been 86 years old and Benny Goodman wasn't born yet. I don't think. Now, I'm sure you all want to know the various parts of the clarinet. The mouthpiece, the barrel, the left hand or top joint, the right hand or lower joint, and the bell. Now, if you should be in the market for a clarinet, make sure all the parts are present. You know, when I began the study of the clarinet, I was the merest little itty bitty girl. Just before I learned to play softball, but was proving to be better at the clarinet, although not at first. There. Seems very simple, doesn't it? Like a child could do it. Well, not necessarily. I was a child, and I could not do it. At least not very well. <laughs> Gradually, as you can see, however, I improved. Ugh, oh, this reed, it's gotten so wet. Serves me right for showing off. <laughs> Gradually, I became fascinated with the clarinet, its warmth. It's repose. <laughs> oh, for pity's sake, behave! You're supposed to be helping and you are not helping. I love the clarinet. Being a clarinetist isn't easy. You must practice every day. The care and maintenance of reeds alone is a constant trial. Twice a year, a safari of clarinetists and I go out with our machetes to the jungles of Ceylon in search of reeds. And when we find them, what a clatter. 
and noise of machetes whilst we cut them and fit them to our ligatures. We are then ready for the long trek home. Imagine the kiwi birds, the gorillas, the pythons, all staring at miles and miles of a single file cortege of clarinetists, all practicing our fiendishly difficult exercises. Ha! You thought that was the end of it, didn't you? Well, it is. <laughs> Thank you.
go. Thank <laughs> you. 
before we finish with our final two numbers, I want to do something. First of all, Tom, are you out there? The composer of CC, would you please stand? There he is in the back. And please acknowledge, because he had to conduct, he didn't get a chance to get the applause. Grant, stand up. So these are, these are all our students, they're all music majors at the university, all 45 of them. And, but I'd like to, we have some a, a real incredible diversity. We have actually the drum major of the Sun Devil Marching Band. <laughs> and, and I want, first of all, anyone who's a freshman to stand up. Stay, stay standing. Sophomores. Juniors. Seniors. You guys sit down. Now I want all the master students to stand. And the doctoral students to stand. So we have, yeah, sit down, you're not that important. Um, so, so we have an incredible diversity among the students, and it's wonderful to be able to go to work every day and work with these type of people. So we will close tonight with two pieces. One is the, the Gershwin medley, and the next is Gypsy Song. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We all appreciate it. And it took a lot of work to put this together. The students all worked, well, I, last week when Guido Six was here, we worked from 7 to 9.30 on Thursday and Friday nights together, just then. Can you imagine university students on Thursday, th Thirsty Thursday not going out for a beer? <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for coming.
Thank you.